Come on in, my show's about to start. Guaranteed to tear your worldview apart. Come on, see my show. It's rock and roll, Trey's timeless 15 minutes of explain my daily ritual. And today, my discussion is called The Snake in the Garden of Eden and DIY Gnosis. There's actually three... Garden of Eden stories in the Old Testament. As I said in a recent video, I took Old Testament in college and uh, in the first three books, Deuteronomy, Numbers, and uh, Genesis, I believe. And why would eating from the tree of good and evil be bad? Why? The knowledge of how to do, uh, how to do evil. Um, this seems to come with the presupposition of human ignorance. The command to stay ignorant. Pontius was created. And he was he hated. Lady like took him by surprise. <laughs> Can't you overstand? That's the problem. When he saw what was in front of her eyes. Man, he was created. Adam was created. Can't you see it was in the sky? When she ate it, Lord, it was love at first bite. When she ate it, never knowing wrong from right. Right? Well, that's right. <laughs> Can't you see that's the problem in most people's third eye? Thank you. That's uh, Aerosmith. Why would eating from the tree of good and evil be bad? Is it because of the knowledge of how to do evil? How it's done? This comes with the presupposition of human ignorance, the command to stay ignorant. Uh, this, this makes one question is, what's the relationship with Yahweh and the Demiurge or the Demiurgos, the original builder creator who is um, apathetic about spirituality, but a master builder in the mythology. And so, you see, in the history of, of mankind's um, archetypal mythology, snake, the snake archetype in the Hindu, in the, uh, the ancient tantras, the snake uh, represented what's called the kundalini, also wisdom. Um, the kundalini sexual or, you know, the feeling you have when you, when you take a hit of the highest grade or your sexual orgasm. Um, the tantric marriage in the third eye is achieved by the what's called the kundalini rising force or the snake it's considered to be a snake and um my first time i, I really had this experience with a woman and i i felt like uh it was some kind of enlightening experience and i could actually see two cobras filled the top of the room now maybe that was some draco's essence merging with us i don't know but they were about the same about 15 feet tall um, so, so you have the pre presupposition of human ignorance. Um, the snake might be representing uh, Gnostic wisdom or information on how, on how the Demiurge came about. So the Gnostics had a completely different, and history had a completely different view on the snake character that he brought about the Gnosis or wisdom, you know, sexual fire i don't know um but this also brings about the questionnaire in, in my life uh, having a blood illness um the apple something i don't eat because it has a lot of natural fruit sugar fructose so if you do read the david dr david perlmutter book i i, I reference in my videos the grain brain uh, with all his evidence um you know Eating apples can cause worms, you know. Eating apples can feed your candidas, your worms, your mercy, your cancer, your 
or whatever, all all of the um, pathogenic things, right? So one could also say that eating the apple itself could bring about the uh, ego or the demiurge, the the narcissistic predator entity um, side of the pa patriarchal god Yahweh and that character and the individual, the, the Adam or Eve person when they you know, when they ingest the apple, that the sugars in, uh, induces that. If you reference P Dr. Perlmutter's book, the sugar could induce the psychosis that would lead to the uh, the reptilians or the the Draco, the repti being able to take over the human side of the brain and then manifesting as this snake character saying, look here, this is what you want. Uh, the sugar, you know, it's food for, that was, in my life, uh, in my twenty, you know, last hat twenty years of my life, that would be an interesting food for thought to uh, compare. So, when you get the sugar high, you get paranoia, fear, and then why do they have the guilt over nakedness? Why would they want to put on their clothes? Uh, could it be the demiurge or Yahweh was this, uh, as I've said inter before, intercessor or intermediate? Um, Middleman God uh, trying to play hero narcissist to make you feel guilty. The, you know, could be the Dracos or the Anunnaki. You know? So, um, so we have sex tease shows and fears of sex, <clears throat> the patriarchal domination. You know, it's often sexier to to look at a tease show than some hardcore porn to to many of us. So. The fear of the clear truth. Many, many people refuse to check out this channel because uh, they're afraid of the clear truth and gnosis, wisdom. In the Chinese zodiac, I was born in the year of the snake, 1977. So, uh, you know, there's those who associate me with that archetype from that cheesy um, yearly thing. Can the voice making commands be the demiurge or Yahweh and uh, vilify? They had, why did they have to vilify wisdom uh, to begin the idea that Satan does not exist? Huh. Because Satan is control uh, in control of wisdom, or in this case, the Scientism death cult. In this case, being able to orchestrate um, this hijacking of the ionosphere and your body, some of your bodies um, under the guise of altruism and planetary warming. Uh, so the snake in the garden story, uh, it's about creation and soul capture, perhaps, you know, reincarnation. Perhaps it's an allegory for the reincarnation death trap. Okay, your food for the snakes, the reptilians, right? You start uh, as soon as you become, as soon as you leave your natural ketogenesis, or do as I do and, and have a few potatoes and have the erythritol because that doesn't mess it up too much. The modern version. So, but as soon as you, as soon as you go back. To the sugar you see then it's uh, you could easily become prey to psychosis right so it was the garden of eden um, story of how sexual wisdom was turned against itself as dan winter claims the reptilian races for millions of years hated the genders hated each other so it's a very interesting idea i had so to be is it to be in, interpreted that wisdom or gnosis is the devil is this why people hate me, fear me, won't go on this channel when I tell them that we, they would heal, help them heal? Uh, this idea that human or sheep, the Lamb of God, you know, is that there to prevent ascension? Is, you know, as I've had Hare Krishna chanters that said, oh, no, I could never have a direct relationship with, with Krishna. And Christians that say, oh, I'm as aspiring to that, you know. And I tell them the Christ or Krishna is within and they just, they laugh, you know, or something. And, and it's a yin yang, you know, like many of the Buddhist uh, masters or the Buddhist 
enlightened beings would always have their wife and the depictions, you know, and sexual embrace. This creation is a hierogamic union. The creator, the, the Mayan creation story had a a couple, a man and a woman. I think that's the only one uh, beside the Taoist, the Taoist and the Mayans. So this patriarchal God is, you know, quite plausibly or often Easily, it can be led, well, with the Jews, it can be led back to the Anunnaki, you know, um, with this allegory, why did they say snake? Again, my question, uh, or I didn't put it in this page yet, but there was that a conversation between the Anunnaki God uh, um, and the reptilian God and the, their original um, human creation, Adam and Eve. So as, as, as the temptation idea in that story, an allegory for selfishness or perhaps uh, for outsourcing, the temptation to eat that apple and then eating that apple means that you, you're, uh, you're, you're willing to, to learn from the poison. You're willing to learn from the poisonous, the reptilians, right? So is that an allegory for narcissism or um, you know, being an obedient follower? The snake, um, reptilian, the snake always, they're always involved in human social groups. It's always, the signature is a rep, uh, for the reptilians or the snakes, snake brain is hierarchy. They always have a hierarchy. You're not worthy, you know. <clears throat> also, um, the snake re represents the individual kundalini energy, as I said before in the beginning. And so... In the reptilian hierarchy, they'll say to the initiate, you're not, you're not worthy of being a divine Christ in the flesh suit, you know. Hierarchy of, of snake brotherhood all the way since Atlantis. So um, is Yahweh the external soul control? You don't, you don't want to know. Uh, literal interpretation. Um, a literal interpretation of this um, allegory could be never even, never ever taken the mainstream media. <laughs> Right? Because it's poison. Okay? For your mind. So, the orthodox, uh, or the creation of, the creation of the, the FED. Okay? Think about the, com compare the story of the United States FED to the Fed in the way they try to say we owe trillions of dollars in debt and make us feel guilty to this, uh, this snake or this reptilian or Anunnaki uh, Yahweh characters trying to make you feel guilty. Huh? The Orthodox society is very threatened by those spreading awareness of Gnostics, truth such as myself. Um, they're going to give you limited hangout, you know, shadow ban. Uh, so I, I wasn't allowed to go online for over 24 hours. I wonder what will happen today. It's interesting. Um, I was denied access. And again, I, you know, it's, Certainly plausible that it was these same spirits um, from the dark side hierarchy that, you know, figured out a way to block me. Um, if it wasn't my computer being too, having something wrong with it. Um, in the second coming of Christ, the awakened see evil is not a power. It is pathetic. A jealous God, cock-blocking life, if it doesn't fit into their hierarchical power, the golden rule means that evil is suicidal. Sorry, guys, but that's just the way it is. It's obvious. It's the law of karma, the golden rule. That's the reality we're in on this planet. Like it or not, guys, we have to reclaim and tame, control the snake and lion in your mind and brain, and that is gnosis. It's, then, then you're not insane. Then you don't have psychosis, separation, schizophrenia, and... Um, narcissistic predator entities no exoteric power is real the christ is within us always in the seth materials he said this is the camouflaged reality but what if you see through it the matrix the snake a snake is bad the idea that the snake is bad means don't trust the instinct don't trust your instinct don't trust your wisdom don't don't believe in spiritual teaching because those are all, you know, related to the archetype of snake. The head and body split 
to deny and disrespect your sexuality and fake Christianity cuts you off from the intuitive instinctual wisdom. And if you enjoyed this, click subscribe. And I got a little more, my friends.